Hey YouTube, this is Tina again. Um, I came across a video about racism by Milma Matisse, I think is her name, and this is a video response. Um, I remember in the third grade, um, I was still living in Hawaii, and um, I was at school. And I was going, either going back to class from recess or going out to recess. And this little boy, um, I forget his name. I think he was Filipino. Um, I have nothing against Filipino people at all. But I'm just saying he, he was Filipino and I'm black. And I remember him calling me nigger. So, of course, I was really upset. Um, I told the teacher, and the teacher didn't actually um, punish him, but he was um, taken out of a track practice or something like that. So, I guess he was punished like that. Um, but anyway, that was my first encounter with racism. And then I actually got racism from my own race, if that's possible. Um, I moved to Georgia, and I think this time I was in seventh grade. Um, so it was my first year of middle school, because in Hawaii, intermediate school starts in seventh grade, but in Georgia, it starts in sixth grade. Anyway, I was in middle school, and I remember, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I remember um, the black kids not liking me because I wasn't black enough, yeah, and um, I spoke differently, um, I spoke really fast, um, really choppy, um, just very different from a slow, slower southern draw. And so they didn't like me. And my hair was like extremely long. I was light skinned. I am light skinned. Um, it was just a whole lot of different crazy stuff. So um, that was pretty odd. But I mean, I just started, I guess, hang out with the white people. Um, because they didn't have a problem with me. So, anyway, I said all of this to say that racism is still alive. Um, even though it's been like 50 years since the Civil Rights Movement, um, you know, and we have come a long way, but we still have a lot more to go. Um, like with Obama becoming our new president, I still heard racial slurs about him. And he's like gonna be the most powerful man in America. Um, all I can say is spread the love, you know, get to know who the person is on the inside before you judge them for their skin color, you know? Um, I'm really glad that my parents taught me well enough to not be racist. And just because that little boy um, was Filipino doesn't mean that I have to now hate all Filipinos. Like, that would suck because I really like Filipino food. But anyway, um, I just said that to say that we all need to just love each other and really get to know other people, get to know other cultures, and you'll probably learn something about yourself. All right, good night.